What's up guys? This is a twin flame reading for the collective. Today is August 28th. This is the day I'm reading an energy. Not necessarily the day that you may resonate with it, with it. Take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. If you would like a reading that's more tailored to your situation, of course, click the link in my description. I'll be glad to help you with that. This, today's reading was brought to you by Gym Body, my new business, but also the personification of beauty. You can find that book on Amazon. It's by Ashley Gillard, Tamisha Wilson, and Chantrice Duberry. Excellent read for you. I have products for the mind, which are my books. I have products for spirit, which is through this channel, tarot readings and numerology course. And I have products for the body, which is my new brand and body. But enough about me. This reading is about you and this twin flame partnership that you and I and a lot of us in the collective are embodying. Sorry about that, guys. So the overall energy of this reading, we have yin yang. We have this partnership. We have um, this partnership starting to manifest. So it's been a journey for all of us. Things have happened in the past and um, the future, the present. That's all leading to the unification of these two divine partners that are destined to be together, that should be together, here to make a difference in the world, here to bring light, here to do whatever light work it is that you know the divine is bringing them together for. And we have the King of Wands steadily showing up in my readings in regards to these twin flame partnerships. I'm trying to figure out like, what is this King of Wands? It's steadily showing up. And I'm a Libra. So it could be Libras and Leos coming together. It could be a Leo um, Leo or a Cancer partnership. Um, and it's really, I, I, I'm not resonating with the Cancer part, but it could be for some of you. But it's a Libra potentially a Libra and a Leo coming together. But we also have the Emperor, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And if you look at all three of these, and you have the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups in this reading, if you look, it looks like three men, one blessed, one mature and stable and solid, and one inspiration, one, you know, desirable, but young, the Page of Wands. So... I don't, and you have the king of wands here. So this, this is like four men, but it's like three men here. And it could be three fighting for the same person. You know, that's what I'm feeling from the bottom of the deck energy. But what I'm getting is something else in this energy, um, but in the overall energy of the reading. So let me just get into it. We have the attachment card for the first and only oracle heart so still these energies potentially masculine or feminine could be both to be honest because both masculine and feminine energies whether you resonate with the masculine or feminine they both have karmic partners so and, and behaviors and and attachments and codependencies that they need to let go of in order to unify with someone who blesses their life someone who aligns with them as a spirit so your twin flame aligns with you as a spirit. Your karmic aligns with you as a person, you know, as a human. So it's these attachments that they both have that they need to get rid of in order to unify. Then this damn king of wands came out in my reading. Again, clarifying the lovers as the first tarot card. You have the lovers clarified by this king of wands and this page of pentacles. So this king, this masculine energy is coming with an offer. This King of Wands is coming together um, for an offer to bring the masculine and the feminine together. To come together with their divine partner. They're ready. They feel like they're ready. And they'll have the Eight of Wands with that as well. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles is there. So working towards an offer to bring to the feminine in order to come together as a pair. But something is happening. Because right after that, we have this. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's not taking action on that offer. Who the fuck? I am, like, y'all, seriously? I am not this. This song on the need. Let me stop. Thanks. I was just irritated by the um, interruption. 
Anyway, so something is stalling this offer. It's like the masculine wants to make an offer, but something keeps getting in the way of the offer, making the offer stall. Kind of like these phone calls. <laughs> getting in the way of me in this reading. So it's like something happens, getting in between um, the masculine is working on this offer, but then stalls because these, again, attachments, because these karmic attachments, because anything, something, a person, place, or thing, a habit, it just gets in the way of actually making the offer. Then something happens and there is a breakthrough. We got Justice and the Knight of Cups. Justice is telling to Libra. Remember, if you've been watching my readings, that means we know that something is happening during Libra season. Or not only Libra season, but September 14th when, um, let's see, and September 14th is when Venus enters Libra. And then we have Mars entering Libra October 3rd. So there is a time period where some changes is going to be made starting September 14th into October time frame. That's in Libra season as the Zodiac as well. That's going to bring these partnerships together. And this breakthrough happens and offer comes. Offers come. The thing about these offers though, it's, it's when this breakthrough comes for this energy, during labor season for this feminine masculine energy, I believe it resonates with, um, honestly, I believe it resonates with the female, unless you're not, unless you're gay, you know, if you're gay or bisexual or lesbian, it could be different for you. But the energy I'm feeling is the female. And the reason why I say that is these are men on the bottom of the deck, three men. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying feminine energy because if I'm saying feminine, that means masculine or feminine spiritual. But I'm saying female, so a woman. This is going to be, um, the woman is going to get many offers during labor season. They're all going to come through at the same time. That's what this Three of Cups stands for. These offers are going to simultaneously come in at the same time. And the thing about it is one of those offers is going to be the divine partner and some of them will not be. They could all be good part, good offers though. I mean, because you're being your glory. If you're in your glory and, and you're living your best life and you've been working on you, of course, people are going to come forth with multiple offers from you from different directions. And they may all have good intent for you. But this is the thing. These offers are never seen to come through at the same time. And it's a burden. It's a burden. It's a burden to both the masculine and the feminine because, you know, you got to walk away from some. You can't take them all. You got to walk away. You know, there is this rejection and walking away from some of these offers. And that's a burden. Think about getting what well, think about getting three job offers. The one job offer is the best location. It's the best company you want to work for. And you're making good money. And it just gives you positive energy. Something you always wanted. Then the second offer, the income you always wanted. Maybe not the best location, but it's still a good offer. It's still not a bad location. Great money. An opportunity for your advancement. Then you have this third offer. Increases work-life balance. You can work from home. You're making good money. Maybe not the most money, but it over. You know, you think about gas and all that stuff that you're saving because you're working from home. Just think about getting three great offers at the same time. Brace yourself, feminine, female, because that is what's coming for you. Multiple offers at the same time. It's gonna burden you because you cannot take them all. You have to let go of some. Yeah, you have to let go of some and to overcome this obstacle. When I see the Seven of Swords, um, sometimes the Seven of Swords resonates with deception. But in this case, the Seven of Swords represents the soul urge. This is love and kindness. Um, okay, it resonates on the Tree of Life with Nitzak. I'm sorry, Nitzak, Nitzak, you know, N-E-T-Z-A-C-H. But it stands for um, victory. And it is right in the chest. And that's God's loving kindness and light. And so victory is your ability to overcome the obstacles in the way of God's loving kindness. You, you're overcoming the obstacles, standing in the way of the God's bestowing love and kindness into your life and receiving from above. And you're doing that by building and working on yourself and creating a solid foundation for yourself. So these offers 
you may not take these offers because one is an influx of them. You don't know which ones to take, but you do know how to build yourself up. You do know how to nurture and provide for yourself and build that solid foundation for yourself. So during, you're already working on that now. So doing so brings an influx of abundance and offers during Libra season. Then we have the Nine of Swords clarified by the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. So it's, it's, it's an offer of emotional fulfillment and stability and nurturing. It's a, it's a solid offer of a partnership. The only thing is, you know, you have king and queens here. That's, that's partners. But also, you know, an offer of emotional fulfillment that, that anybody wants to be love, an offer of love. You know, we welcome that energy into our lives. But the thing is, something is standing in the way of it. And it could be these offers. Some of them could be from the past. So we have the Knight of Wands and Demonic, um, the Devil and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands combination. To me, this is saying that there is a karmic attachment to someone in the past. The Knight of Wands stands for Scorpio energy. But there is something getting in between the, because the King of Wands is the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands would be the pair. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands would be the perfect pair together. So it's like the devil, a demonic attachment to the past. Again, we have attachment or card in here as well, remember. So there is something holding this offer of love and fulfillment and passion to offer back, keeping these two apart. So the issue here is the past. So some of these offers that's coming towards this female could be people from the past. Things in the past getting in the way of the connection. But it's um, the star is just pops up here. So it's going to work out. It's going to come together because you also have that clarified by the lovers, the four of swords and the fool. So we have it's this reading starting with the lovers and ending with the lovers. So it starts and ends with the lovers. So it's going to work out. The, you know, if, when I think of starting and ending, I think of the Alpha and the Omega. I think of the beginning and the end. I think of, you know, God. So it's like these lovers, they come together. They're restored. You know, they're restored to enter this new phase of life together. They come together uh, because someone takes a leap of faith. They both probably do. They both take a leap of faith and decide to come together and everything is restored. Interesting, interesting, interesting story because it's like in the blink of an eye, things happening. So right here, a breakthrough happens during Libra season, and all of a sudden, what's been stalled all of a sudden brings an influx and opportunities and offers. Then we have again not knowing what to do or being rejected, and things getting in the way of this offer of emotional fulfillment, and then another just in a blink of an eye turns into restoration fulfillment, uh, faith, and coming together of these this pair. And we have yin yang on the bottom of the deck and this card is move and deceit is under it. So sometimes what am I the energy I'm getting from the deceit card is oh a happy family right under there. The devil will use opportunities that are good to keep you from opportunities that are great. In order to keep this happy family and connection and this, this twin flame couple, because remember, partnerships like divine partnerships like that are light workers, bringing light towards us. They have jobs here on earth to connect and do, to bring harmony and peace or whatever to the world. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the opposition want to keep that apart? So in order to keep that apart, these offers are... The devil in disguise. They're good offers, though. It's like, how bad do you want? Do you want good or do you want great? Do you want okay? Do you want love or do you want divine love and partnership? It's like, you know, to keep you from good, to keep you from great, he gives you good. That's what complacency is about. So whatever this is, be careful. Be careful and be sure to choose the one that you feel is connected with your spirit and your your mind, body, and spirit. Someone connected to you physically, but also spiritually. Your twin flame. And that can be confusing 
because we have soulmates, we have karmics, we have people that we connect with in our soul tribe that are not necessarily a divine partner, someone who could be one with us, connected with us, and be on the same mission with us to bring light upon the world or make a difference or make a change in other people's lives. So be very careful and cognizant of your choices, especially when you have these influx of opportunities coming your way. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by everything happening at the same time. Continue to build and work it on yourself and decide where this offer of emotional fulfillment, who to choose. Decide the best option for you. <laughs> Interesting reading. Wow. Wow. Interesting reading. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I ask that you please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's overcome the hate. You know, in my last video, I, like, I just get dislikes for no reason. It's like I'm such, like, I give positive vibes, I give positive energy, and sometimes negativity tries to overcome. But no, let's not let that happen. Please like, subscribe, and comment, share, um, and keep this train going. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more light. Peace.